Ranger. horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. All right, boys, I've been planning this bank job in Cloverdale for over three weeks, and I don't want nothing to slip up. You hear me, Joe? I'll take care of my end of the job. Yeah, but Cloverdale's got a right away sheriff. We make one false step, and he'll outsmart us. I think this time we'll be outsmarting him. Cheyenne and me will do the bank job alone like we planned. And the sheriff won't be counting on us getting any help from you two fellas later on. Now, you sure you know what you're going to do? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cleet head for that water hole at Buzzard's Bath. We leave the blast and powder there and then head on across the Badlands to that shack at Indian Forks and wait for you. With fresh horses and plenty of fresh water. Don't forget that. It's important. Those Badlands are pretty well dried up this time of the year. Why don't you quit worrying? We've been over this with you a hundred times before. And when you get there, take turns keeping a constant lookout until we arrive. Now, get going. Getting kind of nervous, ain't you? One of these days, my friend, you're going to talk out of turn once too often. I don't think so, pal. Just take it easy yourself. See you at Indian Forks. Don't mind him, Yuma. We're all nervous till this thing's over with. We get our hands in that bank money, we can relax. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe you're right. I guess I just got itchy fingers. Come on, let's tackle that bank. Honey, you must have learned something important to be riding so fast on such a hot day. Plenty important, Kimasabi. We learned from telegraph operator in town about Yuma Kid. Him and other men hold up bank in Cloverdale an hour ago. Kill three men and steal $40,000. Cloverdale is a long ride from here. It's on the far side of the Badlands. That's right. At last, we're on the heels of Yuma. It's taken time, but... Wait a minute. Yuma always works with four or five men. You say just he and one man robbed the bank? Ah, uh, what do you figure? I don't know. Perhaps he's meeting the rest of the gang somewhere else. Maybe. Yes, but where? An ordinary crook would be afraid to cross the Badlands in this heat. But the Yuma kid might risk it. It's the shortest way to the Mexican border. Not likely, Kimasabi. He'll need plenty of water, fresh horses for a trip like that. There's a water hole at Buzzard Bath. He could be headed there. Do you know if the sheriff is on his trail? Ah, uh, him and two deputy. We might still be of help. I only hope the water supply we have will get us through to Buzzard Bath. It's a long ride. We try. Come on. over there, Cheyenne, buzzard bath, and $40,000 in our kicks. Well, we made it. Both ways, Juma, just like you said. I'll bet the sheriff and his posse are less than an hour behind. We gotta work fast. You water the horses and fill the water bags, and I'll get this keg of blasting powder that Joe and Cleet buried for us. You really had this figure, didn't you? Go on, go on, get going. We ain't got that much time. It's deep enough for you? Yeah. When this powder goes off, it's going to be goodbye water hole. And the sheriff and his boys are going to be mighty thirsty. Well, I hope you're right. I don't see how a blast will dry up this sump hole. How do you think it holds rainwater? There's no spring under it. It's just a layer of soapstone. Soapstone? Sure. The water's held with a regular basin. But it'll go down plenty fast when that blast goes off. You mean the blast will bust the soapstone? It'll crack it wide open, and the water will pour out the crack. Now, you get the horses out of here before I light this fuse. Far enough, they're out of range. Hurry, Yuma! Run! Well, Cheyenne, that takes care of the sheriff and his posse. 
In this heat and without any water, they won't dare follow us any further into the Badlands. If they do, the buzzers will be pecking at them before they can start. Let's shove off for Indian Forks. The boys will be waiting. Think these dogs will get us there? We about run them out. Sure, they'll get us there. And what if we do kill them? We got fresh ones waiting for us. Just beyond those rocks. And me, plenty thirsty. Watch yourself, Tuttle. You and kid in this gang may be in hiding. Uh, you and a kid not here, Kimasabi. I must have been mistaken. Unless they've already been here and gone. Uh, maybe Sheriff get them. Yes, that's possible. Tuttle, something's happened to the water hole. Kimisabe, no water that bad. The fresh tracks, plenty of them. Two different types of shoes. The Yuma kid didn't meet the rest of his gang here as I expected. But why him blast water hole? That shows his cunning, Tuttle. He must have known there was a posse on his trail. He's hoping their water supply has run low. The posse can't follow any more than we can. That's right, we have no water. Horses plenty thirsty. We die out here, Kimisabe, without water. That's what Yuma was figuring for anyone who tried to follow his trail. It also explains why there was only one man with him instead of his whole gang. Uh, how you figure? Two can travel fast if they know fresh horses and water are waiting somewhere else. Me see now. Rest of gang wait somewhere ahead. Take care of that for him. Right. What we do? We'll wait for the posse from Cloverdale. I have a plan I think will catch the Yuma kid. That is, if the sheriff has enough water for our horses. And what's your plan? Tonto, look out there. Horsemen ride this way. Must be the sheriff and his posse. I see the two of them, men. If they move, shoot. Say, hey, sheriff, they're not the horses they rode out of town. And you're right, they ain't. Well, they must be a couple of the Yuma kids' gang. Well, watch yourselves. Come on. Put up your hands and keep them there. We're not outlaws. If you think we're part of the Yuma Kids gang, forget it. We're here to help. I'll bet. But I never saw a man yet that wears a mask that helped the law any. You don't think we'd be waiting here without guns drawn if we weren't on your side? That argument ain't good enough, mister. When you're out looking for bank bandits, they could be up to any old trick. Even you could be the Yuma Kid. Take off that mask. You're wasting your time, Sheriff. The Yuma Kid's already been here. And unless you've brought plenty of water, We've all ridden into the, his trap. What do you mean? Well, the water hole is dry. There's not even enough water to get us to Cloverly or anywhere else. We'll die out here. That's right. The Yuma kid set off a blast of powder that cracked a base rock. The water seeped through. Boy, that dirty, sneaking coyote. Huh, double cross you, eh? Even one of his own gang. Look, Sheriff, I have a plan to catch the Yuma kid. We haven't time to argue. Have you any water at all? Maybe a little. If you've got a plan, eh? I'll bet you have. But whether we die out here or not, take off that mask. I know the Yuma Kid's gang. Let's see where you fit. Sorry I had to do that, Sheriff. But no one takes off my mask. I'll get their guns and see how much water they have. Oh, you're not outlaws, huh? No, I'm not. As long as we can't convince you. My Indian friend and I must take matters into our own hands. Why are you sneaking, rat? Water bags, Kimisabe. Fill our canteens and give Silver and Scout what they need. Leave the rest for the sheriff and his men. Hey, what's the idea? What, your leaving ain't going to do any good? It'll last a half a day, Sheriff. I think you'll manage. We'll return with water for you. I don't get you. My plan to turn the tables on the Yuma kid depends on Tonto and me. We must leave you behind. See, maybe you are on the level. I don't know whether you mean that or not, Sheriff, but I can't take the chance of giving you back your guns yet. All ready, Kimisabe. We'll leave your guns a hundred yards out. I know you can't follow us. You haven't much water. But trust us to return. Well, you're not leaving us much choice, are you?
over there, Kimisabi. We see him now, behind rocks. We better take a look. Nobody's following us, Yuma. Let's take a rest. Maybe you're right. These nags are about dead. We better give them some water. I ain't hankering to walk the rest of the way. Sure, we can take a few minutes. They want our horses, Kimasami. We go get them now? Not yet, Taro. Catching Yuma and his friend isn't enough. Who's ever left in the gang must be caught also. That's right. Even one at large will lead to more trouble later on. There's one way to find his hideout and the rest of his gang. How that? Join Yuma and his friend. They'll take us there. But you can't wear a mask. Correct. I'll change to a disguise. Hurry, get the things out of my saddlebag. You know, Cheyenne, I'll bet that sheriff's kind of dry by now. If he ain't, he will be mighty soon. Hey, Yuma. What's the matter? Over there, two men riding our trail. Yeah. One of them's an Indian. And that guy on the white horse looks like an old man. What do you make of it? I don't know yet, but we'll soon find out. Keep him covered and let him ride up. Howdy, Gent. Howdy. All right, never mind the talk. What's the idea of riding our trail? Uh, hold on, mister. You can put up them guns. Just me and my partner here looking for water. Some crazy critter blew buzzard bath sky high. We've been dry nigh on five hours. Oh, you have, huh? Well, you can keep moving. We're not likely to do any gunplay, mister. We're just looking for water. See, you got some. Yes, and we're keeping it. But you ain't gonna let a man die now, are you? We're all equal out here. I'd share with you. Well, you would, would you? I think he's balmy, Yuma. Maybe. You say you were at Buzzard Bath, huh? Alone? When we got there, we were. Then we saw some horsemen riding up. Figured they might be bandits. Trying to find out what I know. You not tell secret. What are you talking about? What kind of secrets you guys got that bandits would want to know? I said, what kind of secrets? I think we can tell them. They look honest enough. Maybe right. Sure, sure. What do you think we are, thieves? Oh, no offense, mister. Just that a man tries to be careful who he talks to. All I say is, if we don't get out of this predicament, all the gold we found won't do us any good know-how. What gold? Gold, yonder over them hills. All a man can dig. Never seed such a find. How come a fellow like you has got a fine horse like that? He's a beauty, isn't he? All I've kept these years, living from hand to mouth, never traded him in. He's my life, mister. Give him some water, Cheyenne. Where's this gold find, mister? Oh, I don't look that loco now, do I? Why should I tell you anything more? What you got that's valuable enough to make it worth my while? If you want to live and get back to that gold, you're gonna need water. A lot more than you got here, mister. That's right. Don't get your proposition. Enough water to keep you alive? for a half share in that gold you found. Uh, where is this water? We'll have to lead you to it. Uh, let me talk it over with my Indian friend. He's my partner, too. That's fair enough. Come on, Indian. What you figuring, Yuma? This is like shooting fish in a barrel. When he finds out how much water we got at Indian Forks, he'll do plenty of talking. You going in with him? No longer than it takes him to give us the location of that gold mine. Oh, I get you. We'll sort of humor him along a bit. Hey, mister. Well, my friend says it's all right. But we don't do no talking till we see that water you're offering. Well, we better get going. You lead off. We're heading south. Whatever you say. How lucky can a guy get, Cheyenne? If you fell in a well, you'd come up with a bucket of diamonds. <laughs> Wait till the boys hear this one. <laughs>
I don't mind winning, Joe. But you're supposed to be on the lookout. In that hut, son, you think I'm crazy? Well, I took it for two hours. You're no better than me. You must have to stay on the lookout. He's not telling me what to do. We've got the water and the horses waiting for him, haven't we? Yeah, and you better stop drinking it all. How long do you think it's going to last? There's plenty more in back. Stop being an old woman. You're getting as bad as Yuma. What's the matter with you? I wonder why he hasn't showed up yet. Who cares? Let him sweat it out in that sun. I don't trust him anyway. Wouldn't surprise me if he double-crossed us and never showed up. I want a deal. Well, how you doing, friend? Kind of tuckered out a little. Sure could use some water. Won't be long now, just over that ridge. Hey, Joe, that's you my signal. What are you shooting for? Just let them know I'm coming. Oh, I see. How many uh, men do you have? Just one, Pop. Just one, that's all. You're only going to have to split that gold two ways, so stop worrying. Uh, well, just wanted to know. Just wanted to know how many men you had, that's all. Well, let's get going. Well, there's four of them coming. I wonder what kind of trick he was up to now. I told you he should have stood lookout. The sheriff's posse probably grabbed him and he talked. Maybe. He's rat enough. Will he give us a signal? Quit trying to figure it and go on out and meet him. What about you? I'll slip out the back way to where the horses are hidden. I want to see what happens before I show my face. Just keep your mouth shut. Don't worry. Say, Cleet, wants you to meet some friends of mine. We got a deal cooking. Did you take care of that water like I said? Yeah, we sure did. Okay, Pop, let's see to my end of the bargain and then we'll talk business. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> yes, sir. Mighty inviting. Well, there it is. You mean that's all the water you have? Hey, what's this all about? Did you take care of the bank? Shut up, it's already taken care of. Where's the rest of the water? Right outside, stacked against the shack. Satisfied, Pop? Huh, yeah, there's plenty of it. Plenty of water out there. Go on, help yourself. Yeah, thank you. Everybody's going to be friends. The old man here has got a gold mine, and we're going to cut in on it, Cleet. Gold? You said it. Well, here's to you. Sure tasted good, didn't it? How are you there, mister? Well, let's talk, partner. All right, Yuma. Let's talk. Paddle, get our guns. Over against that wall. He ain't no old man, Yuma. What's this about a gold mine? It's part of a plan to get you to lead us here. You're through, Yuma. You and your men. What kind of double cross are you handing us? You ain't the law. The law don't work this way. That's right, we're not the law. But we're placing you in their hands. The bank money you stole is going back where it belongs. Wait a minute, stranger. Who are you? Take off that disguise. Hello. Get the ropes off our saddles. You get plenty of rope, Kimisemi. Wait a minute, Indian. I'll make a deal with you. I got $40,000 out in my saddlebags. Save your breath, Yuma. Tonto, get the ropes. Stay where you are, Engine. Both of you, drop the guns. I'm kind of disappointed in you, Yuma. I figured you might double-cross us someday. But I never figured you'd be outsmarted by an old coot and an engine. You'd have done just what I did. Maybe, maybe not. This ought to earn me an extra bonus. I wondered if you could be as simple as you look. That's why I have this extra ace up my sleeve in case you pulled something. Don't cut on your aces, Yuma. No. I'm mighty curious to see what you really look like. Maybe if you're not so handsome under this disguise, we'll bury you with a beard. Oh! oh. What's happened to him? Oh! oh. oh. Me make me die. Water poison, maybe. Me remember now. Water tastes funny. Water poison. Oh! What's he talking about? Stay where you are. Nobody poisoned any water. I don't know, Yuma. I, uh, I feel kind of funny. Somebody could have poisoned it since five minutes ago. You guys have been drinking. I did my drinking before you got here. What are you getting at? Who drank out of this water since these two new guys got here? We all did. You drank first. So it was you, you low-down skunk. You poisoned the water after you took a slug so you could get everything. You're crazy. 
I ain't so crazy. You figured to take care of me after Cheyenne and Cleet were out of the way. These two were easy. Why, you... <laughs> Hey, what's this all about? You're not going to die from poison water if that's what's worrying you. Water, not poison. Tonto gave you the idea, and you let your imagination do the rest. Me get your sign, Kimasabi. Me understand. Poison water trick, good idea. Now we'll tie these men up. Me get rope for sure this time, Kimasabi. Well, I'll be hog switched. Look at them horses coming up. By golly, Sam. It's the masked man and his Indian friend. And he's got those two critters we've been after. Huh. I recognize the horses. I reckon we got a lot of apologizing to do, stranger. You've done a mighty fine job right down the line. I think you can manage from here on. We brought along enough water to get you back to Cloverdale. And the folks won't forget that $40,000 you saved them either. But I want you to know how grateful we all are to you for everything you've done. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, Tano and I must be on our way. Adios. Ain't you gonna ask him his name, Sheriff? There ain't no use wasting a man's time like that. I know who he is. I should have known all along. A white horse and a black mask and a man that always keeps his word? Huh. He's the Lone Ranger. <laughs>